Um, I was thinking about when I, when you read the Old Testament, God makes promises to cities sometimes. If they don't straighten up, what's going to happen? If a city doesn't straighten up and fly right, turn back to Him, He's going to make it into a ruin where jackals and lizards, you know, it's going to be the homes of jackals and so on. It's kind of interesting in this class going to be showing you a lot of those ruins. So what does that mean? God says to a, to a city or to a tell, if you don't turn back to me, I'm going to make you into a ruin. And now it's ruins today. They, they didn't turn back to him. <laughs> so you see that man doesn't listen to God, and you see God's faithfulness and what he promises. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Uh, there are some tales that are living tales. We talked about that last time, right? Living tales. And many times that's the areas that have um, done what God wanted to do. Jerusalem is his city, right? The holy city, Jerusalem, is it living today? Yes, it's alive and well today. And it's been alive and well since ancient Egyptian times. There's been people living. So that's something to think about, isn't it? Especially in our own lives, that uh, we make sure that we're in God's will each day and recognize that he has been merciful, giving us another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance and so on. Because we have a God of second chance. Third chances, fourth chances. All right, let's uh, pray together and we'll get started. Father, thank you for your love, for watching over us the way you do, and for providing second chances. And Father, I pray that you would help each one of us today to renew our commitment to you, to be more like Jesus, and to allow you to have your way in our life, and to be yielded, Father, and teachable. I pray that you would help us to use the information we learn to lift high the name of Jesus, Father, and to build your kingdom. Pray for those uh, that are hurting. I know there are many in our uh, college family that are struggling now with uh, with uh, health issues, Father. And I pray that you would surround them with your love, Father, and that you would uh, help them to learn what you want them to learn through the difficult times. And if it could be your will that you would uh, heal them, Father, and restore their health, and allow them to, to keep up with their coursework. Father, I pray for those who are struggling financially. I know there are many today and don't know where the, the next... Uh, payment's going to come from. And I pray they'd look to you and trust in you. And Father, that you would provide all of their needs according to your riches. Father, I pray that you'd watch over us in class today. That you help us find your wisdom and to seek your face. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.